what's up everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel where i like to do all things storytube here don't forget to subscribe for more content so i actually just finished powerless and reckless and when i tell you i was left staring at the wall two times over i said this this isn't real this this can't be happening oh but it did happen and oh was it delicious i don't know if you've read this book yet but if you haven't i'm telling you right now you need to read it so i just kind of wanted to show you guys the books that i've read recently that are just have been five stars i really think almost every book i've read have been 4.5 and higher so let's just start with the earliest book that i read which was half a soul by olivia atwater <laughs> i love this book so much it's regency romance it's no spice like it's just pure romance it's just love it is angsty and i need angst it's actually one of the best books i've read in a long time and the craziest part is it's actually told in third person perspective and i did not expect to like that i typically am like a only first person perspective type of girl but when i tell you i ate this book up in a day oh my gosh actually just opening the pages I described it in one video, I described it as kind of like watching Sanditon with like a CW twist, which is still true. If you like stuff like that, this is the perfect book for you. It's everything, like literally the front says whimsical, but never frivolous, sweet, but not sugary. That's the perfect way to describe it. Shout out to Alex E. Haro. This person described it perfectly because it is sweet, but not sugary. Like there's some darkness to this, but in like a really good way. I loved the man Elias. Oh gosh i fell in love with him i fell in love with him and i love the main character dora literally just so good i promise you you need to pick this book up you need to read it if you're in a slump this is the book to get you out of a slump and you'll just be pleasantly like surprised it's the type of book i would have never personally picked up but thanks to my friend for reading it and making me read it she literally this is this is her book i have to give this back to her i literally do not own this book but <sighs> Yeah, read this book if you just love Regency sweetness and everything. And it, it is romantic -y. And technically, um, it's kind of dislike to love. I don't know if you could say full-blown enemies, but definitely dislike to love. And I love that. I ate it up once again. Um, she has half a soul. Look into that. What do you mean you have half a soul? I don't know. Read the book and find out. <laughs> then I read the book that comes after Half a Soul, um, Standalone, and like the standalone series type of books where they're in the same world. What's that? What's that thing called? Oh, Interconnected series. Interconnected. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is book two, which is Ten Thousand Stitches, which features another girl and another guy. This is Grumpy Sunshine at its finest, but it's like reverse Grumpy Sunshine in a way so good delicious it's kind of like a cinderella um twist there's a fairy godfather in the mix i'm gonna just leave it at that um i give this book a 4.5 i actually give half a soul a 5 out of 5 but i give this one a 4.5 out of 5 it was still very much delicious the 0.5 was just i think the pace was just a little slower for me compared to half a soul but still delicious i ate this up in about a day also so i definitely recommend this one um the guy is the sunshine <laughs> Like, I love Grumpy Sunshine as a trope. It's one of my favorite. Reverse Grumpy Sunshine as a trope is one of my favorite ones. So, yeah, if you're interested in romanticy, once again, pick up 10,000 Stitches. I think this is just, I've been reading a lot of romanticy lately, and I'm so happy I have because romanticy is everything. It's so epic, so delicious, so good. Get into it. Okay, so that's 10,000 Stitches by, once again, Olivia Atwater. And then I got into a reading slump. <laughs> I got into a really bad reading slump and kind of in my reading slump I read um a couple of contemporary romance books nothing too yeah they were cool but the books that actually mattered when I finally got out the freaking slump powerless by Lauren Roberts I ate this up in less than 24 hours when I tell you I wasn't ready for how good this book is i'm just kind of mad at myself i do this all the time does anybody else do this you know that there's a good book it's sitting on your shelf you say i'm gonna get to it months go by you might even pick a day where you're like i'm gonna pick up this book and read but then you don't pick it up and read the day that you say you're gonna pick it up and read and another month or two goes by and then finally on a day that really is so random you're like fine i'll just read the book almost begrudgingly like literally i basically was like okay whatever Oh my gosh, why would I do that? Powerless deserves so many just applauds and just everything. I'm kind of still, I'm kind of still in shock right now by this book, honestly, this and Reckless, because honestly, guys, I, I just read it this weekend. <laughs> I read it Thursday. 
finished it Friday, got book two Saturday, read book two on Sunday, finished it Sunday. Anyway, yeah, that's crazy, I know, but you read Powerless, you'll see why you have to eat up breakfast like that. You, you kind of have to. The way Powerless ends, the way this book ended, I literally just was walking around my room just pacing, authentically pacing like how this can't be real. This was so good. It's so pure. It's romantic at its finest. I would say Powerless is super romantic because the fantasy is very high in this book and yet the romance is out throughout the whole book. It's perfect. When I tell you I love Kai, love Kai. Peyton, love her. Love her. She's such a survivor. Literally that's what it says. She's such a survivor and I just love this story. I loved, it was very much like a dash of Hunger Games, a dash of like I don't want to say Vampire Diaries, but I'm just saying something super fantastical like that um, with like a dash of Regency vibes because it's kingdom and, you know, royal and all that good stuff, but yet not a historical feel, very much futuristic at the same exact time. Like that past futuristic feel that you get when you're like reading a book that feels like it's taking place in a future that kind of went backwards, but yet still has upgraded technology in other areas. I don't know. You get what I'm saying, if you get what I'm saying. But that's what this book was. And the world, when you were in it, it just felt, oh, it was so good. I was literally eating up every page. The banter between the characters was perfect. The romance between the characters, perfect. The slow burn, perfect. I need slow burn. This is the definition of angsty and slow burn. Pick up Powerless. Just pick it up. Enjoy yourself. Read it now. <laughs> okay. And then finally, I read reckless like I keep talking about because I just finished this book yesterday because yesterday was Sunday my gosh I can't believe that this book <sighs> I'm kind of sad there's a part of me this is a bittersweet and strange feeling party people and I'll tell you why it's bittersweet and strange because the third book does not come out till April and when I tell you there's a part of me as mad as I am that I waited to read these books there's the slightest part of me that's kind of like happy I did because then like at least it's a shorter amount of time from now to April than what it would have been if I read it months ago. But nevertheless, it's still eight months. That's insane. Not only am I waiting for the next book in the fourth wing series, the Imperium series, but now I'm waiting for this to come in in April. This is not a fun feeling, okay? I said, well, now what am I about to do? What book should I read now to dive into after reading such an epic good book? This right here is romance at its finest, I would say. I definitely think their fa the fantasy in this one is a little less, but for me it's fine because you'll, I mean, I don't wanna give any spoilers, but obviously based off of book one and like the type of character she is, I mean, the back of the book, it says she's ordinary. You might not know what that means, but she nevertheless, she's ordinary. In book two, she's out there in the streets as an ordinary. So I don't know, it feels like it makes sense that the fantasy was a little bit less for me, but obviously, I don't know, they, I love Powerless and Reckless both so much. I don't know if I could compare them. They're just two different ver Like, it's part one and then part two. And I'm going to just leave that there because I'm just in shock by the ending of this book. I was in shock by the ending of Powerless. <gasps> I'm still stuck. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like in that moment where you just don't know what to do with yourself after you've just read such a good book or such a good series. And that's the thing about series that are just not finished. You have to go and live life. Just like, okay, months? Months? <laughs> I don't know. I might read from Blood and Ash. I was supposed to have been read that book. I mean, like, was supposed to have been read that book. And I haven't read it yet. Just like I haven't, I didn't read Powerless until now. So, unfortunately, I am that type of person. Like, oh, I'm going to read this book. I mean, right now, because these books are so good, I kind of feel like I need another book to get me out of this, like, book hangover. I need to kind of just get out of this world because my brain is still here. It's still, my heart was with them. But because of the fact that the book's not coming till April, I, like, know I need to throw myself into something else before I cry because I definitely want to cry. <laughs> All right, I do have two new books that I'm excited to read next. Like, my most excited, I might read, like I said, from Blood and Ash. Um, and I am super excited to read that I am. I think because I just read these two books, I'm like, should I throw myself into another series that's romantic like that? Or should I switch it up and go to like, well, this one, which is the first one, Unwind. This is a dystopian sci-fi book. When I tell you, this sounds so delicious. Once again, shout out to my friend. We were having a conversation on FaceTime and she was showing me her little book shelf. And she's like, Rhea, I just got this book. And she was describing it. When I tell you she had already described like four books, none of them really fazed me. 
Oh, when she described, when she literally read the back of this book, I said, oh my God, I'm ordering it. I literally ordered it right after we got on the phone, right after we got off the phone from Amazon. It was only $8 and it came the next two days later. It came two days later. I'm going to just read the first sentence just so that you consider this book. It says, the second civil war was fought over reproductive rights. I got to keep reading. The chilling resolution, life is inviolable from the moment of conception until age 13. However, parents can have their child unwound whereby all of the children's organs are transplanted into different donors i'm gonna leave that there because there's more in the back when i does that not sound delicious what kind of society you mean to tell me that at age 13 this book is saying that their organs can be given away i said what world is this i want to read it i want to take part and she actually just texted me last night while i was binging reckless um <laughs> She told me that this book is actually super good. So I'm just really excited to read it. I don't know if it's going to be my next read or if it's going to be my next next read. I don't know, but the first page was already given. So that's Unwind and then Inheritance Games. I am so excited to read this book. I bought this from um, Target, you know, gotta love Target. This book obviously has been on my TBR for a long time. I've seen it. I've heard about it. I know that it's technically, I'm pretty sure there's a love triangle in here, which, eh, nah, it makes me be like this because I hate love triangles. It's not that I hate them. I don't prefer them. When they are in a book, though, I'm like, I hope I'm picking the right guy. Thankfully, in Shatter Me, I did pick the right guy. I'm leave that there. But nevertheless, <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm literally being crazy right now. Anyway, nevertheless, I heard that this book has a love triangle, so I'm kind of like, oh gosh, I hope I pick the right guy. I just hope I do. Because I always feel so hurt if I don't. Like, who doesn't want the guy that they're rooting for to be the guy that ends up with the girl? Like, get out of my face. So, yeah. But what I like about the sound of this book, though, is just obviously the games of it all. Who doesn't love a book with a bunch of games? I'm like, this sounds exciting. Um, I hope it delivers. This is technically YA, obviously, which, once again, I don't mind. I don't mind YA. Actually, I never said that to y'all just now. I don't mind YA. And actually, I think I've been really enjoying kind of the YA-esque books again. Because I feel like sometimes with those books, there's just like a lot of intentionality put in by the authors to make sure that they're giving their readership something like a fun story, not saying that new adult doesn't and stuff, but maybe I'm really getting at contemporary romance right now. I think contemporary romance and me are not the best as a friends right now. I think I don't know what's going on. My reading taste has changed a bit and I'm in this new phase and I'm loving romanticy. I just, I recently ordered this for the summer and I am so excited to get into it. I actually wanted to vlog myself reading these books which is why i haven't read it yet but i'm excited because i love some of the tv shows like sanditon oh my gosh i actually have a video coming out about that soon so look out for that because i just i have to talk about sanditon it's so delicious but yeah i don't know me and just regular contemporary romance like i'm in the middle right now with it it's not that i hate it i don't always be a love of mine but i just i think my love for these types of books are boomeranging again and then my love for romanticine is just like getting so much stronger so that's where i'm at right now and these are actually are those are all my next reads i don't know but uh it was so good talking to you guys about this i needed to get this off my chest because honestly i think the whole point of this video is really just to go in about powerless and reckless how are you allowed to end a book like that and then tell me i have to wait till april till april till read the book <sighs> But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, until next time, you guys, much, much love. Uh, by the way, let me know what your next books are. Um, let me know your thoughts on Powerless and Reckless. Were you the type of person who gave it a 5 out of 5 like me? Because I think it deserved 5 out of 5. I'm sorry. I Maybe, it, yeah, it's everything. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> and then uh, if you've ever heard of this book, Unwind, because this is one of those books where I don't even think, I don't know... I'm not sure if this is even romance in, at all. Like, I don't know if there's even any type of romance in this book, which is fine, because actually I'm looking forward to just a really good storyline. So let me know, you guys. Once again, until next time, much love. Bye.